Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. It's Lori at Pizzazz Studios. Hope you're all doing well. And I have not painted on a CD in quite a while, so I thought um, I would give it a go today. I have some fun colors here that I want to try out. And um, this one's pretty much all yellowed and it's just really old, so it has seen better days. So today I have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors here in front of me that I want to use, including a black, and um, that will be my swipe color. And um, I want to see how this turns out. And um, actually, I guess that would be nine colors if you count the white base that I'm going to lay down. So I'm going to use a house paint for my base. And I have it all mixed up here, what I have left of it in this cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this down. So what I have in front of me here, like I said, is just an old CD with a piece of painting, um, painter's tape on the back of the CD just to cover the hole. And then I have it on a cup here on my spinner. So I'm just going to pour this right down here in the middle. This is my house paint with GAC 800 from Golden mixed in. I use that to prevent cracking and crazing and things like that in the paint when they dry. I feel like this house paint's a little bit on the thick side, so I use that mixed in with it. That was just a couple of tiny air bubbles I was popping with my torch. I'm going to give this a spin and spin this out. Get the whole CD covered. Um, please excuse my messy mat. Oh my god. I was doing a lot lately and I have all sorts of pretty colors on there, but I do need to clean it up. My apologies. I hope this is okay to see, even though there's a lot of color going on there for you probably in the background, but I'm sure you can see it just fine. I've been experimenting with lots of things and I have some cool things happening. And I just haven't had time to change it up yet, but I just wanted to just uh, play today and have a little bit of fun. Like I said, um, I have not done a CD in a while, so I thought I would do one today. I used these colors on something else yesterday and it came out phenomenal. So I wanted to try them again because I, I love them so much and I want to see what happens today. Yesterday, I did not use a base coat with them, the white. So... What I'm going to do, um, I almost poured it right in the middle like I was going to do a bloom, but I'm not going to do a bloom. I'm going to do a um, swipe. I'm just going to randomly lay down my paint here. I'm not going to lay them in a line or anything like that. I'm just going to put them wherever I feel like. This is turquoise. I'll have all the paints listed down in the description box for you, so you can reference them if you'd like to. This one's aqua green. If you've been watching my videos at all, you'll probably know by now that I love blues, so <laughs> I do use blue quite a bit. This here is actually a um, pigment, art pigment from um, Color Art. This is called mm, Majestic Blue, this one is called. It's absolutely beautiful, very shimmery, very iridescent. This is such a pretty color. So pretty, pretty, pretty. I haven't, uh, I have a few videos that I have made that I have not uploaded yet to YouTube. I'm going to try to get to those two this weekend and get them going. Hopefully I can get this one up. Probably tomorrow. This is a metallic white. I know I have a lot of white down there already, but I want to put a little bit white down. Some metallic color. I'm kind of missing the CD. <laughs> I just flung it off the side. Oh, God. <laughs> oh that's not going to work out very well, is it? Whoops, and now I'm dropping my stick. Oh, boy. Okay, this one's another primary elements by Color Art, and this is called Jasmine. Oh my goodness, one of my favorites. It's like a, it's like a hot pink. 
It's stunning. This color is amazing. It's so vibrant. I don't have much left in here. I'm just making sure I'm not getting out any clumps or anything like that. Very pretty. I was trying to use up some of these too. Like I said, I used them the other day in another project. So that one's pretty much empty. And this color here, this is Brilliant Magenta. This is by Artist Loft. And then last but not least, I've got 24 karat gold. This is by Deco Art. Metallic gold. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm just randomly putting down my colors. Like I said, I don't have any specific thing in mind. I just want something with these colors and I want to see how it works out. A good amount of paint up here. Now I'm thinking at this point, I want to do the swipe. Um, I'm going to try, well, I'm going to try to do the top and come down. Um, instead of like doing it in the middle and then swiping, I think that's what I want to do. I should have probably left me a better spot pour the black paint on if I was going to do that. I wasn't exactly thinking too far in advance, but that's all right. This will work out fine. So what I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to put it right across the top here. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know what's going to work, but we'll see. I think the colors are amazing together, so... You just want to lie that down there gently. And then swipe slow and steady. My paper, yeah, see my black didn't quite reach. Uh, didn't quite reach all the way over like I had intended, but Maybe I should have done it from the middle. Now I'm just trying to get the edges here. Make sure the paint comes over to the edges. Some spots got swiped a little bit more than others. Like right over here, there's less paint. Obviously there's more at the top. Wow, there's some pretty things happening here. It's too bad I <laughs> didn't get all the way to the edge, but we'll see what happens. And I am up on my spinner, so I can spin this if I want to. We'll see what happens. I do have to let this sit a little bit, though. Um, let those cells do their thing. I'll wipe my hands off here on my bag. I'm going to torch this. Now I torched for a couple of reasons. I had a couple little air bubbles in there that I wanted to get rid of, but I also wanted to see if that would help the, my cells grow, see if they'll get larger. I just realized that my phone's a little bit out of focus or off, not out of focus, but off frame here. Let me see, I'll zoom in here and give you guys a close up of all these awesome cells. I mean, the cells are incredible. Okay, well, I've let this sit a good few minutes. Um, 
Wow, this is really pretty. I'm gonna try torching one more time. So now I'm just trying to decide what I wanna do with it. Do I wanna tilt it or spin it? I think I'm gonna give it a little spin. See what happens. Oh yeah, nice. Now as you can see, it's all coming down off here, dripping off. So if I can get this to come this way, I'd be pretty happy. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of a tilt that way. See if I can't get this moving a little bit on this side. Because I actually do want this to go too. And over here. I'm not sure how much pain is on this side. It feels a little light on me, but that's all right. I'm gonna give this a spin again and we'll see what happens. I'm spinning gently because I don't want to lose too many of those cells and I'm trying not to misshape them if I can help it. Stretching them is okay. I just don't want them to look all wonky, you know? Give it a little more. Woo, that was a good spin. Maybe a little too, too fast for me. That's okay, I'm gonna go back the other way a little bit. There we go. Wow, really pretty. This is really neat. Oof, pretty colors. Wow. All right, I am happy with this after all. I wasn't sure after I swiped it if I was gonna like it, but it looks like I've managed to salvage it. I'm gonna try to tip it a little bit. Let's see, I'll go a little bit this way first, if I can. And I've still got some good movement in the paint, so that's good. I'm trying to just get this edge off just a little bit more, not much, just a tad. being a little picky as far as that side goes, but all that much better, much better. Now, as far as this black goes, honestly, I'm not digging it. I gotta kind of get rid of that, I think, if I can. I'm gonna tilt it up so that the edge is more of the white. Yeah, maybe I can tilt it this way so you can see it. Hopefully, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Oh, good, there we go. A good amount of paint right up here. Now we're just gonna give this a little spin. Now the black is starting to fall off. Exactly what I wanted. Woo, this is pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm gonna show you a close up afterwards. Wow, these are so pretty, these cells. You have to tip it back this way a little bit. There's too much paint up at the top. I'm trying to even out the cells a little bit too because I stretched them a little too far that way. I'm just cleaning up that side a little bit. Wow. I just love these colors. It's 
really interesting. Turned out, mm, I'd say some similar to what I expected, but it's been a little bit more just for up there. I'm probably playing with it a little too much. Maybe I should have left it alone a little sooner, but I, I really didn't want all that black up there. But we'll see. Um, I'm liking the way it's coming out. So maybe I didn't. Wow, this is really neat. All right. So at this point, I'm trying to tip it just a little bit more to that edge because um, it went a little too far this way. Oh, that's much better. So I am now done. I'm going to just run my finger along underneath that CD and get this paint off underneath it. clean up underneath so that your paint doesn't continue to get pulled down and off. But you don't want all that under there anyway. <laughs> and I will give you a close up and see what you think. If you like my video, I'd love it if you could please hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out an awful lot on YouTube. And um, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate that as well. Okay. Well, I am done. This is really neat. It's interesting. The colors are awesome. Um... I want to show you what it looks like in a close-up. So let me just see if I can zoom in there for you on my phone. Providing you don't have paint all over me. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's really neat. It almost looks like watercolor painting, it, the way the colors I don't know, I, love, I like it a lot. Interesting, right? What's cool is there is no silicone in this. There's not one drop of silicone, but I'm trying out new things and I like what's going on here. This is really neat. All right, guys, so that's it. If you like the video, like I said, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you very much. Hey, everyone. I have my phone down off the holder, so now I can get us a better close-up here. So I'm going to zoom in in a different lighting here because I was getting a weird reflection before, and I didn't like it. So I wanted to get a little bit closer for you as well. So I want to show you what I got going on here. It's really pretty. I got some black and gold lacing there. That's going to be really pretty. I'm hoping this dries really nice. We still see. Um, it won't take long to dry. There's not a lot of paint on here. And it's small. I mean, it's a CD, so it's pretty small. It should dry fairly quickly. But I just wanted to give you a better close-up and, and show you what I, what I had here. So... If you can remember, if you subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the bell notification as well because then you get a notification when I upload my next video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for joining me and happy painting. See you soon.